Hello everyone, my name is Amit Chopra from Refinitiv and welcome back to part four of my conversation with Mr. Mukarram Atasi, uh, the Head of Investment Management at National Bank of Fajera. Uh, Mukarram, Hello, Amit. we have spoken about uh, financial planning and the need for it. We've spoken about goal setting in part two and why that was important. Um, we touched base upon how many people actually use professional advice versus self-medication as you mentioned uh, in part three. So, you know, I'm here, we're convinced we need professional advice uh, per se. How easy or complicated it is to actually start a relationship uh, for professional advice and what kind of solutions do banks provide? It's fairly easy. Everyone has specific needs, right? So, fairly easy or couple questions where the bank needs to know what your circumstances are, where are you sitting in your life cycle, financial life cycle, uh, how many children do you have, what's your monthly outlay, in order for the bank to be able to help you with the appropriate solutions and advise you with the appropriate solution or solutions. So in general the experience that people have with banks is when they actually want to go and buy a lending product to get a loan from a bank and you generally have to have like a stack of paperwork with you or whatever else. Is that the same case with investment no. solutions? No. Here it's, it's the case of having a bank account. So whatever is required to open a bank account, this is what you need. And all you need is uh, answer a couple of questions in order for us to understand your circumstances and adapt a solution to meet those circumstances. Okay. And in case they change, we revise on a yearly basis. Uh, we have a meeting and we, we see whether those goals and those circumstances still prevail. Fine. So if I now have a relationship with a bank, what kind of financial solutions are you really talking about? You know, and are these sort of systematic investments? Are these lump sum investments uh, per se? And then what happens after that as the relationship continues okay. to shed some more light? The on solutions that? are lump sum and systematic. Um, these are uh, the investments at NBF that NBF offers is what we call risk-based portfolios. Okay. So in other words, you define your risk you define the set uh, returns you expect and you are risk profile and accordingly accordingly you are put in the solution that fits your goals and your risk profile so and this this is a portfolio of international best in class funds and how multi asset Multi-asset funds, as you said. So it sounds, uh, you know, quite technical uh, per yeah. se. How much involvement would I, as a customer, need to have proactively in doing this? Uh, the beauty of this is that you live your life, you focus on your professional uh, life and on your personal life, and you leave the management to the bank with involvement on a yearly basis to see whether your circumstances and your goals are still the same or if they have changed in order to get the advice accordingly whether you need to change those objectives or not. So you mentioned an important point. Lastly, I wanted to ask about that as well is how many times over the course you said once a year, can I change more frequently? Uh, you know, is there a commitment period that I have to be invested for a certain amount of time? What are the fine print that, uh, that we need to know about? No fine print, total flexibility, whether you do it lump sum, these are very liquid product. If you decide to get out, you can get out anytime. If you are relocated somewhere else, these are international funds, we can uh, transfer them, they are portable, we can transfer them to whatever bank you, you, you have uh, abroad. So these are portable products. They are not, uh, uh, they are not NBF own, own type product. So, so you can, you can So total flexibility. And there's no time frame in which- There is no be. time frame, even for our systematic investments. You can stop it anytime. 
you can take a holiday uh, if, a if payment holiday a payment holiday uh, you can um, stop it's it's up to you but you lose on the saving uh, the, obviously the, the future the returns. future returns etc etc Mr. Mukaramatasi, this has been absolute pleasure uh, speaking you, to you. Amit. I hope you guys have, have learned something new today and uh, can look towards more professional uh, financial planning and advice uh, for your own future and goals. So thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.